Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Star Trek Fleet Command. Um, I want to talk about several different things in this video, and so I'm going to try to breeze through them because I always tend to go up to that 15 minute mark. Um, so starting with the refinery. So there is, I believe it is an event for the refinery. And most of you probably are already aware of this. So right now they're doing a bonus level on top of the regular grade three refining. And it has been utterly awesome. Like, I have to give credit to Scopely on this. I think it was such a, um, a needed thing to do for their player base. We have been asking for it. They have delivered it. Um, and I'm, and most of you have seen that prompt on your login screen saying that the refinery has been upgraded overall. So I don't know if this is going to be a temporary thing. Cause I know when this timer, um, clocks down, it shows like two days left or something. And so I'm not sure if they're talking about reef, um, upgrading this level right here, but they have given us the option of getting a lot of uncommon right now, which has been very helpful for a lot of players. So definitely want to give credit to Scopely on that. Um, other credit too is running a lot of a lot of different um, events going on at the same time. So we have our typical ship and research event, which I don't really do unless. Um, Unless there's character uh, crew packs in there. Then we have the Alliance Mining Leaderboard. We have the Mega Miner Special. And we have the Solo Mining Event. And then the Daily Reputation Events. And I haven't been signing up for the Federation because my Romulan is so low. Um, because if... Oh, I can't take a look at it either. Let's take a look at this one that's finished. Yeah, because it's going to take my Romulan down 8,400 there. Oh, that's a lot. 4,200 there. Yeah, so that would almost like zero out <laughs> my Romulan faction that I've built up. Um, definitely working on it. You know, just a couple of days ago, I was negative 58,000 in Romulan and uh, definitely had to grind that out and um, I'm in the positive and I went up to the 500 and then I believe the 25,000 I'm trying to get up to the 100,000 um, level um, so that I can buy these faction packs um, for Nero hopefully and I'm getting pretty close on them. But big shout out to Scopely for giving this huge upgrade uh, during this event to the refinery. It has definitely helped us a lot. Um, and as you can see, I am rocking four docks right now. That has been really nice with uh, mining materials, multitasking, doing all sorts of kind of things. I am still working on this beast. Um, so it's 86,000 experience. I have to earn at this level. And it's about that for the five levels. So I have been cracking out on that. And just to kind of show you a trick that I do is I go and find a dead station. Um, basically a player who has either quit the game, hasn't been active, has or has been booted. And Clumsy right here, he was actually booted from the game by Scopely. So what I do is I just rush him and um, let's take a look once this is done. Uh, let's repair that. Let's see here. Because once I crack the hull, I should probably, it should be a little bit more than that. I think it's probably going to be somewhere in the ballpark of like 
600 experience and it's a really good way of just hitting it over and over and over again to rack up experience um and we'll, we'll try to revisit that in about five minutes when that shield comes down and so um definitely rocking four ships right now um i haven't done any upgrades on my ships because i am basically waiting for scopely to come in with a half off deal on the uh tier three ships that they just launched the the mayflower and the d3 and the legionnaire um I am definitely hoping to score one of those ships at half the cost. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's going to happen. So, so I, I want to explain this next part because it's a it's a very difficult line to walk for me. So, I try to be a very respectable player. I try to walk a very fine line about not being a dick on the server, but. I think what a lot of people misunderstand is thinking that means I'm not going to raid your base. And I want, I want to just basically put it out there that I am a pirate. If I need resources, I'm going to hunt bases down. Like any of these bases, I can't even hit them, but if I could, I would be cracking them because they're not shielding up. They're not protecting themselves. And so I'm assuming that they're not doing it, A, because they're online, or two, um, they don't care about their resources. They have no resources. Um, and that's kind of the mentality that I have going into this game. And it's never personal. Um, I have been fielding different messages from different players all day long about, um, you know, why are you singling me out? Um, why are you singling out our alliance? And that is not going on. Um, for example, today there was a, a node that zeroed out. I went in to move on, move on it and, um, basically destroy the player who had zeroed out the node. Well, what had happened was when I went to go move on a ship on that node, he moved away from it to flip the node. My ship went on it while he was away, and when he went to automatically go back to it, he attacked me, and he died, because um, it was my North Star. And the whole alliance was basically saying that I'm taking advantage of them trying to flip nodes. And that wasn't the case whatsoever. Um, and if that player would have been very respectful towards me, and, and polite, and courteous. I'm very much big on that. And if you're like, oh, hey, you know, I was trying to flip that node. Do you mind if I have that back? i am like, yeah, sure. Go ahead and take it. Um, but that was not the case. <laughs> and so I reciprocated with the, with the same kind of attitude that I was being given. Kind of a little golden rule action. And, um, and so that went, you know, alliance wide with them. And I didn't really give it much thought. However, there was a player that I raided last night because he had, I think he had like 2 million trit and I was running low because I just donated a bunch for a mission. And then um, I was down to like about 2 million dilithium and he had about 2, two million dilithium and he was unbubbled and it was like 2 a.m. And I'm like, oh, perfect. He's not going to be online. He hasn't bubbled. So apparently he doesn't care about those resources. So I did that. And then I got um, a love letter from him uh, this morning and it says, um, I just spent $150 on this game buying resource packs. Thanks for hitting my base and taking everything. What a jerk. And I think I, I may have responded with yay or something. You know, if, if I get a message like that, I'll be very sarcastic. Well, some of my alliance mates had caught some engaging conversation last night and this individual in galaxy chat says admiral jansen wiped up my base disabled veteran here trying to survive and we had a conversation about about how when when that is actually put out there because how am i as a player supposed to know if somebody is a disabled veteran and by the way if you are a veteran thank you so much for your service 
I'm not sure how that applies here, but I'm just going to let that one go. And then, of course, um, one of our Commodores smiled. And um, he said, spend $150 in resources to just play the game. The guy is a jerk. Then he proceeds to message Jesus and says, I know one of the game developers. We are looking to freeze his account for 60 days and redu reduce his resources to zero. 17 times is excessive. And he said he hit you 17 times. I will hit you as many times as required to zero out your base. I will take all your resources. And that's how you raid. That's how everyone raids. And um, he said yes. And I, I'm, honestly, I'm surprised it's it was only 17 times. Um, usually I go 30, 40, 50, whatever it takes. Um, I'm running my horizon and my two envoys and going back and back and forth. And he said he took over 2 million combined resources. And I think I actually took more than that. So it was really, it was really concerning that he was saying that, you know, he's working with a game developer to ban me for 60 days for playing the game. And typically I wouldn't put, you know, much thought into it, but, um, my teammate sent this in to Scopely and said, hello, I witnessed this player in the global chat complaining about one of the player, my players attacking his base. That player that was complaining goes by ammo man. He made some troubling comments to me that he knew an employee at Scopely and was going to have my player banned for just playing the game. And so he sends, uh, he sends over the screenshots and um, Scopely responded with an automatic response. And normally I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't really give two shits about it. Um, however, I have heard rumors of players getting banned for this kind of activity. And so I just kind of want to put it out there that if, um, if you see a video of me being banned, um, I have, um, I would be really curious to know why I'm being banned versus just saying, oh, hey, you're banned for 60 days and this player's planning on taking your resources. Um, so I'm not sure how much of that should be believed. Um, but I just want to put it out there that this is just a game. Like, literally just a game, you guys. Um, you have an expectation of protecting yourself. And you're going to need to protect yourself. Um, this, it's, it's more like it's just a fact of life of watching out for yourself. And it's getting to be more and more of this to the point where I am... If a player sends me a message like that, I might respond with something sarcastic. Um, there you go, 928 experience. Um, but I don't put much thought into it, and I'll probably just ban the player. Or not ban the player. Block the player from my chat, because I have no desire on engaging in that kind of dialogue. So, um, just keep in mind, guys, this is just a game if you are not doing your part in protecting yourself. You are, you have no one to blame but yourself. There are plenty of shields that players have. Like, let me, I just want to show this here. So I have 173 days. So that is um, about 500 days. Um, one day, um, 185 one days, about a half a year. Uh, 478 hours, 551 four hours, 204 one hours. Um, so every time I'm away from the game, I'm a responsible player. I want to retain my resources. So I pop a shield. And if somebody raids me, that is my fault. And I will own that. And I'll be like, oh man, you know, that sucks. I got to go get those resources back or find another player to take resources from to kind of recoup. This is this is the game that we're playing. And a lot of people don't like that component of the game. And if you don't like that component of the game, you're playing the wrong game. 
Unfortunately, like other games that have dedicated servers for PvE and PvP specifically, this is not one of them. Um, so when you're playing this game, you are taking on the risk of something like that happening. Um, but there's players like me out there that will definitely help you and get you on board with what you need to do to make sure it doesn't happen. But ultimately, it is going to be your responsibility to make sure that doesn't happen. So um, I will be posting um, another video on officer setup. Right now, I am just getting a lot of officer shards to try to get my Romulan set up. Um, I got a new member and I think it was, let me take a look here. Oh man, I can't think of the new Romulan I got. I know it's not Kumac. Oh, well, well I, I got a new Romulan, getting close to Vehement, one away, getting close to Nero, about 18 away on him. I'm going to be buying those packs to set up that Romulan um, setup in my battleship and then move my feds over to my Explorer. Um, and But I will definitely be posting a video on officer setup um, and kind of what officers to look out for and which ones not to be concerned about leveling up um but um other than that um i feel like i'm forgetting something <laughs> and i hate that feeling but um I'll, I'll definitely be posting that video hopefully sometime next week um is when i'll get nero um other than that you guys um have a good game uh click like click subscribe and uh definitely have fun in playing this game and be kind to one another, and I will talk to you guys later.